Chris. I'm August, and about to beat the heck out of Chris in this 1v1. Something like that. I'm playing Vive Kale, I guess. You're playing Morgana. Bring it on. Hope you're ready to get clapped. I'm gonna clap you like Jensen clapped Faker. Get bound. Ah! So what do we do in a typical day? In a normal day, um, you start out actually, like you usually do one to two play tests a day. And the important part about play tests is like, it gets you feedback from other designers and QA and other people who work at, in the company about how your changes feel. And it allows you to um, do iterations on the character. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, clearly you're hacking. The second thing you're doing a lot of during the day is actually iterating. And during that time, we're working in tools that our engineers make us to code functionality into the game. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Later. And then the last thing that you do a lot in a day as a designer that a lot of people I don't think would guess is there's actually a lot of talking. Like a lot of going to other people, asking them their opinions, getting feedback. What about losing 1v1s? Is that something you do frequently? Let's swap it up. You, you go Kale this time. Okay, let's get it. Bring it. What do you do in your normal day on playtest team? Aside from tell me to nerf my champions. We playtest a lot. And what that ends up looking like is a pretty structured day. Um, we typically do four tests in any given day. So we have one in the morning, then we have two in the afternoon and one in the evening. Then in the afternoon we have a block of about two hours, uh, focus hours that we use to write up feedback, talk to designers, a lot of analysis work, research work. You get to pick the champions that you work on. So it's not like I was able to go out and say, I want to update Shogat and then do that. We do have a little leeway in, in terms of our projects, in terms of like, hey, here's the projects that are available right now. What do you, as a designer, have the most interest in that we think you could be good working on? Ah! Okay, we're out, we're out. <laughs> you blew your flash like a coward. No, no, minions! So August, if someone wants to become a game designer, uh, what advice would you give them? Where would they start? How would they do it? If you want to be a game designer, I'd say play a lot of games, Make some games, make some mods. Think about the games you play in terms of like, what's good about them? What's bad about them? How would you make it better? It's not about having great ideas. It's about figuring out how to solve the problems with the ideas that you thought were good to make them truly good once you're in the game. It also gives you something you can reference on a resume if you ever apply to a game company as a designer. Like, hey, this is what I made. Are you gonna cue me to death? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. You said you were good at lead? What's the most surprising thing about your job? What didn't you expect coming in? No! <laughs> the thing that surprised me is like actually just how much I enjoy my job. It doesn't really feel like work. It's a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun to like create things that uh, millions of people all over the world will be able to see and enjoy. It, it feels very validating. And then also the other thing that I was surprised about, making games is really hard and bugs aren't just things you can magically fix easily. There's just so much going on underneath the hood with games that you just never think about until you actually see what's underneath the hood. For me, the biggest thing that surprised me coming in was the amount of access I had to the, the people who actually make the stuff, make the decisions. Uh, you, for example. All the designers we work with are basically just right around the corner, 10 feet away, ready to have a chat at any time, pretty much. Um, and more than happy to, to talk with you about your ideas, your feedback. Is there a single super rewarding part of your job, August? The most rewarding part of my job is seeing the characters I work on embraced and loved by the League community. Say, going to convention and seeing someone cosplaying Jinx, and I say like, whoa, I made Jinx, your cosplay is so cool. And they're like, wow, thank you for making Jinx. I really like her, she, she looks like me, and I was really excited to cosplay her. Stuff like that, where it's just like, seeing that the work I'm doing has meaningful impact on other people's lives is like super validating and, and quite enjoyable. No! Oh. <laughs> I flashed into it, I was already, oh. You're just making uh, it too easy uh. for me. So yeah, it's, it's super rewarding when, when something goes live and you know you had a part in it, helping to make it better. Two more autos. I'm GG. impressed.